What's up guys? So on the maiden voyage, so I'm trying everything out. I've been on this a couple times, but this is my first time um, on this boat, on my boat, and kind of being a little more self-sufficient. So we're paddling out here. I'm gonna gas up the engine of uh, the motor a little bit, and then we'll uh, try to get the engine up and running. Let's see what happens. All right, let's try this. All right, neutral. Out. Open. We're up and running, guys. Heck yeah. Yes. There's Graham. Got his up and running. Did you push in your choke yet? Oh, do I push it in? Yeah, push it in once you get it going. First time out on my brand new boat. <laughs> I'm on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> just going super slow um, it's a brand new motor so we're just trying to break this motor in so you can't go too fast um, with a brand new motor you can't go fast period you gotta go through a, a breaking in period in order to you know properly maximize the life of your motor so we're gonna try to figure things out so we're just cruising out here it's a beautiful morning man oh my goodness um, it's one of those days where even if you don't catch anything you have a blast but you know how it is man with fishing you can say that but no one wants a skunk so we're gonna try to get on some fish today but again this is just more to just get out on the water get me out on the water and kind of get acclimated to uh, all of this the whole process setting up breaking down um, and not breaking anything you know so we'll just see how it goes today um, and learn from any mistakes and uh, just have a blast uh, so again, as I mentioned, the drop shot is what I like to do when I just want to catch something. Um, and so just, it's a skunk busting technique that doesn't require a lot of skill, which is probably why I like the drop shot. <laughs> this drop uh, was shallower and it, it was deeper right over here. So there's a ledge right over here, I believe. Oh, I got a bite. Oh, I missed him. Oh, he's on there. Something small. Woo! No skunk for Benji Kim today. <laughs> Let's go. And try not to fall off the boat using the st stabby bar. It's a small, I'm guessing, calico or, or spotty. Very, very small. So let's see if we can get this guy in. He's pinned. There he comes up. Uh, it's a little, it's a sand bass. Small little Sandy. Hello, Sandra. Hey, you're putting us on the location. I'm just, I'm just fishing. All right, guys. So first fish on the maiden voyage, first fish on the brand new boat. Super stoked. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Get bigger, huh? Kiss the fishy. Let's go. I kissed a Long Beach fish. All right, guys. So I ventured off over, you know, a little bit away from Graham, not too far away. But uh, yeah, my, my engine died um, and I can't get it back started. I thought it was because I was out of fuel, but I put some more fuel in and uh, I'm still I'm still stuck here, man. I can't get this thing started. You know, a little scary when your engine won't won't kick up. So um, we're gonna try to get this motor started started some more. But again, um, more than likely, it's probably something that I did or something some kind of setting that I had it on. It's all really basic. We're gonna try to figure this out. And uh, and if I don't hear from Graham, then I'm just gonna paddle out away from the rocks here because uh, we got some rocks. I don't want to purposely just hit rocks, so 
Um, probably paddle out a little bit further out and start drifting that way. That's where Graham was. So again, um, my assumption is there's the little gas line here that you keep closed when you're anchored up, um, when you're you know not using it, and then you open it up to open, and then you keep this thing in neutral. Choke needs to be out, and uh, fuel and uh, fuel cap loosened. Fuel cap loosened, and then we put the thing on restart. Sometimes maybe a little bit past it. And this thing just doesn't want to go. I don't know why. Well, I can't do anything and I'm safe, so I might as well fish. Dude! My motor died. I don't know. I, it's not starting back up. Um, I was just, uh, I was just trying to do that drift again, and then she just died. And it's probably something really stupid, you know. So whatever I did, I just want to know what I did. Well, push in your couch. Okay. Start it up. Start it up from here. You don't have to redo the choke every time. Oh, okay. Once it's warm, you shouldn't have to do that. It's a neutral. Let's do it. I want to try something. Okay. <laughs> so what was it? Because the choke was... The choke was out. choke was out. But when I start it, don't I need to have the choke out? No, just the first time. Just the first time. And after that, the choke stays in. All right, guys, so the resolution to my little problem where my motor died and I was only very, very slightly freaking out because I was right next to the rocks. The mistake that I made was after the motor died, starting it back up, you want to keep the choke in. So I kept trying to start it up with the choke out, which is something that Grant told me you only do once in the very beginning. And then once the engine, once the motor's warm, then you can keep the choke in. This is truly the, the maiden voyage and journey of a noob learning something new and uh, hopefully passing it on to other people who are brand new. If you're an expert at this, um, then you're probably laughing at me or you might, you might be getting angry and that's okay. But I, I want, really wanna be helpful for anyone that might be starting out too, um, somewhere down the line and just avoid all the little things that I do. And we're gonna be doing a lot of them this year and to try to be safe at the same time. Alrighty guys, well the fishing wasn't what we exactly wanted. Uh, we're gonna start heading back, uh, but uh, I didn't skunk, got a little sand bass, and got to explore water that I've never fished before and just got invaluable experience. There's nothing beats time on the water when you're learning how to fish and experiencing watercraft and trying to learn how these how these things work. So really, really good, really good experience. Um, we're gonna start chugging back here and I uh, wanna thank Graham for taking me out again, you know, taking time out of his day to spend with me um, and deal with my, you know, stupid little things. Uh, but just having an amazing time and as we continue to learn looking forward to some amazing days on the water um, Catching some good fish and uh, learning new techniques. So um, until next time guys tide lines